I will show you how to create a dynamic drop down. A dynamic drop down. Here's an example of it. Let me just of this show you our dynamic drop down then it has a hover state and we have the drop down where you can just enter items item 2 item 3 item 4 item 4 and you can keep on adding the items as you want here is how it is set up inside of it then we have these items as you can see item one item one so these are all the items all the properties to show item one show then item two show or hide let's try to hide item one you see when you hide it already dynamically it resizes the input box and let's try to hide another item to see it works there we go and uh, let's try to enter information uh, let's say apple there is apple let's try to remove apple item six item six apple there we go yes item six there it is it was removed so this is what I'm going to show you how to build. Okay. So I will start by taking my input dynamic input field. Then in this dynamic input field, uh, I already created the component for this. If you don't know how to create a component, you can watch my other video. I will put it in the description then in this uh, input field uh, then we have um, uh, the states for success default error hover active and disable let's just check how it works first before we continue here's how it works then when you hover and an active state they enter the user can enter the value then after entering the value then the component shows that the required information was provided then if the user forgot to enter a value in the input box then uh, the system can say please provide required information and if the input field must not be edited then we can just put this log and gray it out okay then what we can do is just take this this component here of input let's copy it so i'm just going to recreate this what i have done here i'm going to recreate it so you see how to create a dynamic box I'm copying it as it is, that input field as it is. Then I'm leaving the default state. Let me just rename this drop down. Dynamic, dynamic, drop down. So here's our input. Then this one, then it is where then we're going to expand this to this as you can see here what i did i had to expand it to add items so what we're going to do then within this one within this state do not make a mistake you see the hoover within the active state I'm going to just copy and paste this value. Mm -hmm. Let's see that it is within the right boundaries. Let me 
I just added an auto layout in this auto layout. Let's see, yeah. Okay. Then in this auto layout, let me just reduce the padding. Then I will just copy it again. Just making sure that everything is nicely visible. And this also, because everything I made it auto layout, then I'll just make it hug contents, hugging contents. This will be item one. And what we need to do is you see the content here it says it is locked detach it. it says it is locked content it is what locked and the reason is this was an input field and it was connected to value so I'm disconnecting it so it allows us to Just I will just make three items. Ah, no, two and number three. There we go, guys. Okay. Then, because now we have disconnected all these items, we can now just reformat this to look nicely. Let's remove the strokes. So even before removing the strokes, let's just make sure that there is no corners. Let's do this guys. Something easier, something much easier. Always you just want deficiency. Okay. And the round rounded corners, let's remove these corners be much easier after there we go then the next thing we want to do is just make sure that we make the auto fill and let's remove the fill here let's remove the fill let's add fill on this container it's much better like this also let's just make sure there's no padding in between ah oh, now it's coming right okay let's see if we can just add ra round corners Below, see. Mm. There we go. I think we're coming right. Then we can add a stroke. Let's see. Let's add the stroke. Let's see. Okay. Let me try to remove the stroke. Thing will come on, right? Okay. I think it looks much better now. Just to continue to the next stage. What we want to do then is. Um, when to add for now let's make it item one because this is going to be dynamic right mm, item one two 
and re. So all the items that you will need is up to you that you want to make it 100 items, 50, 10 or 20 is up to you. So for now, for this example, I'll just end at 3. Then, and remember, they're going to be uh, show or hide uh, property. You're going to add them. So item 1, item 2, item 3. So this one, it will be please select. It will be please select. Please select. As we saw that um, it is changing here, we must also disconnect this. Let's disconnect it for now. Now, in our property here, this item one, two, three, we need to add those property. We need to add that property. What is the property? Is a text property. Then we write text item one. Item one text. Or we can just leave it as item. Or we can just leave it as item. Then the value is item one. For all the items that you will need, you will do this. Then item. Uh, adding item to property then item 2 then create a property then we add another property item 3 item 3 created that property now what we want to do is connect it then to connect it, what we need to do is just go to that item while connecting it to the text. There it is, item one. There is dynamic, item two. Then item three, see, there's a log. When you see this log, you know that yes, they are connected. Then your next question is then how do I continue from here? So what we want is when the user clicks one, then it shows that um, they have selected one dynamically. So this text then will connect it to what? Item one. So as you can see here, dynamically then it changes look at this text this text they're changing dynamically item one and also an error state it will always be the same no information was entered so we only need this so we can just also do it for mm, Let's just yeah. Oh, okay, for item two, let's connect this also to item two. So we need to disconnect it from item one and connect it to item two. Then when the user selects number two, let's check if it is working. There we go. Item two dynamically. Then this will change. Okay. Item two. Now we just add another one again for item three. And item three. Beautiful. One, two, three. That this is how it will work. Then we add our interaction. When they press item one, there we go. When they press item two, mm. well, let's just make, make it easier. When they click this, then 
movement goes to change to it's much easier. My mouse is, is quite finicky. Let's name this. Let's name this. Uh, let's name this. Uh, then state. Then it will be item two. No item one. One selected. Then let's make it the state item two selected. Then item three selected. Mm -hmm. Then for item three, you can just go to prototype interactions when they click um, change to item three selected. Ah, that's much better. That's much better. Okay. Perfect, perfect. As you can see now, we want to make so if when we're presenting this to um, our, our customer, then when they click again, we also want to show our customer and the developers that what is the error state if nothing was selected. Then when you click again when you present, then it will go to this one, the error state, because we want a seamless flow. Then they click it again, then it shows them if uh, we do not want that input to be uh, changed, disabled, then it will show this. Okay, then let's test, test if we got it correctly. Let's go here on our assets. Let's go test it. Dynamic drop down. Here's the dynamic drop down. Going to test. Mm. Let's remove this one, this one, so we can test. Let's test. See. Okay, there's our items, there they are. Then when we present it to our business, say if they click again, then if there was no information provided, then it will say please provide required information. Then if that field cannot be edited, then it will show like this. Uh -huh. This is how we create a dynamic Let's try to change those values for the aesthetics, uh, just to edit the aesthetics that you can do according to your preference. But the purpose of this video was just to show you because it really, really gave me a hard time and now I couldn't find any video to show me how to do this. So that is why. I had to do this. You see, now on this active, so look at this. When you go to default, you are not seeing those items. But when you go to active, now you can see those items. Apple, banana, orange. Okay, let's see if they, they are working. Apple, there we go. Then you say banana, there we go. Guys, I hope this video helped you. Uh, please uh, support the channel and subscribe. So I can add more content that is of value to you. To further help you, I will attach a link for you to download this Figma file so it will be more easier for you if you do not want the long drive of recreating this then you will find this file 
then it will have this then you can use it as you want and what you know all you need to do if you want to add more items you just go into uh, as i showed you on the on this video then you'll just copy and paste then you make it a uh, item 9 but just also always remember always remember as if you just want to copy and paste uh this figma uh, this figma file that you will download make sure look at this you go there you go here you just disconnect it and you can see item 9 then after all you need to do is you come here then you add that item item 9 item 9 then you connect it to item 9 and another property uh, there I needed to show you again then how do you make sure you hide them so you add the property for hiding boolean make it a boolean so you say show item 9 prefer writing it like this item 9 show okay then then you can connect it here that boolean you see a disconnected item 8 show then you can just disconnect this then connect it to item 9 show so let's see if this worked as I edit the item drop down let's go here item 9 oh another part that I needed to do is just add that item here just connect it to item 9 then let's see Just need to also make sure that it is connected to the right. You see now it was connected to eight. I just need to make sure that I connect it to nine. Then let's see. Now there we go guys. So let's just make sure again that this video helps you in all aspects let's edit that 9 let's see that 9 being edited and see that truly this thing it does work let's go to the drop down state let's go to item 9 here's the item 9 working there we edit working and let's check there we go working perfect guys yeah thank you just in the description you can download this file the link is there for you to reuse on your projects